John, you, you can't, can't take, take Rory. Rory. What's up, guys? It's Smelly Belly TV here today, vlogging from a very, very exotic location. These are some of the native plants that grow here, and the sun has been beaming down on us all day. We've been surviving, though. We've been making it. There's local food that grows here, <laughs> french fries, and uh, these just sprout up randomly, so those are really good for surviving because they're, they're full of fat. Let's take a look at the natural plants that are here. We have a, yes, we have a wild something there. He likes to live off of the natural environment. We prefer other things, but here you go, guys. Look at how look at the beauty of it. Look at look at over here. You can get herbs, veggies. This is a great survival area. By the way, I'm totally kidding. We're just at Home Depot. It's really not that exotic. But I just wanted to pretend for a little bit because I really wish I was on an exotic vacation. So I'm just gonna pretend that I'm and I really somewhere. wish that he sprouted out of the ground. Me too. That would that would be pretty cool. All right, let's go inside because we have chores to do today. It is chore day. Are you ready? Yeah. I also just wanted to add that Jayla made a good point. That would solve world hunger if those things grew out of the ground. Let's do it. Let's solve it together. Come on, Chick-fil-A. Make your strawberry shakes grow out of the ground. Let's go inside. Mm -hmm. Hey, you guys caught me in the middle of my shower. Teleportation makes you sweat. I had to just get clean real quick. I have a question. Why do you shower with your clothes on? That's what I do. Then my clothes get clean at the same time. It's called multitasking. Yes. What are you guys doing in there? It's a party in the shower. Party in the shower. Oh yeah, show me your party shower moves, guys. It's kind of a tight squeeze in there. Oh, hey, you be nice. There's no room. Yeah, there is. There's plenty of room. You guys are packed in like some sardines in there. Is it comfortable? Don't bring me back to the sardine challenge. No, we're not going to do that anymore. That was horrible. If you guys missed the sardine challenge, go check it out. We ate real sardines. Come with us into the world of fans. And slash puns. We have arrived. Look at all those fans up there, guys. Let me introduce you to all my fans, guys. <laughs> all my fans, they're all here at Home Depot today. They all decided to come and say hi to us, and I just want to say. Um, I just want to say you guys do look fantastic. Uh, but I'm You're kind of cutting me off there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't show you what I was doing. And I think we lost Rory. Where is she? Let's go. Rory, how'd you get back there? There could be rats. You better get out. There could be a rat. I can't. A real rat. Come on. I can't. You need help? Yeah. Okay, come here. The Bellians will help you. Come on, Bellians, help her. There could be rats. Oh no. John has arrived, guys. John is here. Look at him back there. What is he doing? He has a lampshade on his head. John is very weird. I'm just gonna warn you guys. He's weird. John, this is dangerous, John. John, where are you going, John? John, come back here. Come on, dab on us. Stay away. Nay, nay. Dab. Stay away. Dab. Dab, John. Stay away. Dab. Dab. Do it. Smelly Belly TV confessions. Ada is obsessed with cleaning ceiling fans. Ada, you need to stop that. It's bad for your health. It's very bad for you. It's actually super, super hot in here, so I'm just gonna stick you in this fridge so you guys can cool down because you guys look hot. So I'll be back in a minute, okay? Are you feeling better? How do you feel in there? Are you cooling down? Hit your thumbs up if you're cooling down. Okay, I'm gonna get you out now. John, get away. John, the bellions are scared of you. No, let, let me take them. Welcome to World Up Jump. John, you need to get better at vlogging. Okay, you need some practice. You need to get better. Let's do some vlogging one on one. You need to get better tips. at understanding John. Okay? okay. He is feeling. Okay. Yo, dab on out of here. He already dabbed. He only dabs once. Dab on out of here. He already dabbed. People are sinful. <laughs> okay, guys, we are gonna give John some vlogging tips real quick. Vlogging tips 101. This is vlogging class. Okay, first thing you do. Don't look into the lens. You look into the like this? whatever. This Am I side. looking at it? No, you gotta look at yourself the whole time like, like in this? the in the viewfinder. These? You look at yourself right there. Like look at, do it. Perfect. 
Like so that. see guys, we're not supposed to actually look at the lens. So if you ever want to start a vlogging channel, don't look at the lens. You look right here the whole time. Make sure you're looking good at all times. Make sure your hair is on fleek. I know that's not a thing anymore, but I'm just gonna say it anyways. Make sure it's all Gucci. We don't look into the lens. See, he's getting it down. John's getting it. He's learning. Yes, good job, John. And then he gets awkward. Why, John? You were doing so well. You were doing well, and you just ruined it all. Vlogging tip number two. Make sure to go to a place with lots of music in the background because you need music for your vlogs. You don't have time to edit it into them, so just go somewhere that already has music. You don't even have to pay for a music subscription. You just get the free music that's playing here. Vlogging tip number three. Make sure you pick a really, really quiet place and then just be an outrageous vlogger and scream and run and jump and do whatever you want. Vlogging tip number four. Close-up vlogging is the best. You don't need to see anything else in the background. You're the main focus of the video, so make sure you can only see yourself. And remember by doing that, you have to look at the viewfinder, not into the lens, because then you don't know what you're filming. I agree. Last and final vlogging tip, and it is most important one. Always make sure to get the shakiest shot possible to add dramatic effect to your vlog. Because once again, you don't have time to do any editing. It has to be done in real time. By the way, guys, all of those vlogging tips are terrible. Please do not do them. That was a total joke. <laughs> all right, are you ready to go find your dad? Yes. I think Jesse is practicing his meditation by becoming one with the trees. However, sorry, your tree pose is a little off. That's more like half ballerina, half tree. Okay, okay, a little bit too much meditation going on. Plus, we're supposed to be getting chores done. John, is it time to say bye, John? Yes, let's go. Everyone say bye to John. Uh, what? John, you, you can't, can't take, take Rory. Rory. John just kidnapped Rory. This is unacceptable. John, you will not be allowed to come back if you do that again, John. We need to get down to business, guys. We've been having too much playtime, and I think Jesse picked out a jank rake. So we're gonna go get a different one. I'm gonna pick out a durable rake for us. He probably picked out the cheapest one on the shelf, if I had to make no, a guess. No, I picked out the biggest one. We picked out a much better rake right here. It's a lot more sturdy and it's gonna do the job. I haven't even told you guys yet what the job is. We have a bunch of dead grass in our yard that we have to get fixed. Springtime is here. We wanna be able to enjoy our yard again. And right now it just looks depressing and sad. And we also have tons of touch up paint to do at our house because the dogs have chewed up the walls, literally. They've chewed up the walls. Hey, you little rule breakers, get down from there. That's for employees only. Do you work here? Can see John? Yes. Do you work here? We work here. You're not even old enough to get a job. <laughs> get down. Oh my gosh, there's a duck driving a forklift. Hey, how's it going, guys? What are you doing? You I, can't drive. Oh yeah, this, this is my job. I, I'm, yeah. a, I'm, a, I'm a driver of a forklift. Woo, who yeah. let that happen? Yeah, I don't know, but uh, you're kind of bothering me, so I'm gonna have to quack on out of here. Quack, 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 quack. Why do you sound like a mix between a rooster and an owl? What's all the commotion for? Hey, is that you there, Billy? Yes. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Are you and Suzanne still together? No, we broke up. Wait, I think there's somebody, somebody watching us. Is it just me or does Home Depot have a lot of lamps? I think it's just you. Is it just me or does Home Depot have a lot of fans? I think it's just you. Yeah, I'd say so. Is it just me or does Home Depot have a lot of lights? It's just you. Is it just me or is this thing really furry? It's just you. It's all you. Jayla, why you been acting so shady lately, girl? Don't ask me, ask the shades. We are all done. We have decided to keep it to one project for the day. Fun fact about Jesse and I, we always overexert ourselves and plan like 80 million things in a day. We really need to be a little bit more patient and do one project at a time, do it properly, and then move on to a new one. We always put way too much on ourselves. Like, we'll just be like, oh, I just said like a lot. You know what, that's a bad habit of mine that I'm trying to get rid of. It's really hard to do but I'm gonna make a sentence without using the word like. So, Jesse and I have a really hard time just doing one thing at a time because we are very, very impatient. For example, we decided one day, let's just paint the whole downstairs of the house and we're gonna get it done in one day. Yeah, that was no fun because then you're up until three or four in the morning painting the night away. Rory, do you really need the Kit Kat, the king size? 
Can we find something yeah, a little Mom. smaller? Say yeah, Mom. Can we get the small one? Yeah. I got Kit-Kat's heart and I got Kit-Kat. All right. Yeah. Well, I guess yeah. you can get it then. Because <laughs> you're so cute. <laughs> Let's go home. Ooh, throwing our own sharp objects. Probably not the best idea. Yes, Jesse's driving is very hazardous. We have to have those on. Pretty sure we just broke the car. Okay, there's no one behind me. There's no one on the sides of me. And there's no one underneath my car. I think we're good to go. We have not done this in a while, guys. It's time for a Smelly Belly TV dance party. Let's go! Franco, you gotta be quiet. No barking. All right, guys, you know Benzo can't jump because he's too little, so I gotta help get him out. Go, boys, be free! Be free, be free. If you guys missed the vlog uh, where I officially announced our fence, we have a fence. It is kind of a big deal to us, guys. We were getting so sick and tired of the dogs getting out and running away constantly. We finally Mom. got a fence and look at how happy they are to be free and get to roam and run around the yard. Mom, this is the biggest, go. Go. biggest doggy of all. Just to mark her territory, no, let the dogs know that she's in charge here. Frankie boy, you are so strong, buddy. Diesel, come say hi to the Bellians. It's been a long time, huh, buddy? Say hi. D wee waits his turn. Franco. Yeah, does. he does. Look at Franco. Franco is a beast, guys. And we have a pet monkey. Come on, monkey. Show him how you swing from the tree. Franco, come here. Come do your pig snort. Franco snorts like a pig when he gets excited. Listen. Come here, Franco. Franco, listen. Do you hear him? He sounds like a little pig. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm, I'm Mr. Reindeer and uh, I gotta deal with these dogs all the time. They're always chasing after me, always trying to bite my legs off. Look at how tiny my legs are. They're tiny. I have tiny legs. Alright, anyways, um, I just want to say I love the smelly bellies and I just, that's it. That's really all I had to say, but I'm really busy so I gotta go. Alright, bye! Franco! I think it's a lost cause for Mr. Reindeer Man, guys. Everybody hit your thumbs up for him. He's having a hard life right now. A very hard life. Enzo escaped! Enzo, come back! Come back, Enzo! Here he comes. He comes back through the gate, guys. You know the smelly belly way. It's time for favorite parts of the day. My favorite part of the day was rescuing Rory from John. That mean old John. Everyone thinks I'm crazy about Enzo, but my favorite part of the day was re reuniting with Enzo. Of course it was. You guys did not see this, but this morning I gave Enzo a little shower. That was my favorite part of the day. Oh, so nice of you. My favorite part of the day was Franco jumping on me. Franco was jumping on you. What about getting your Kit Kat? Yeah. There goes Enzo again, guys. Watch him back there. He slips right through like a little bunny <laughs> rabbit. My favorite part of the day was bringing back old school Snuggabella vlog and being with 
my family today. I know we had taken a break from vlogs recently. We just wanted to have some fun and try out some other videos, but I think we're back and we're ready to attack, right? Or maybe not attack, but we're ready to love. And I am sending each and every one of you positive vibes. Yes, I am. So it is time to say goodbye for now, but not forever, because we will see you tomorrow. And as always, remember to eat, eat your pickles, kids. Love you. Rory is sad because she wanted to say eat your pickles, kids. Come here. Do you want to do it? Pickles, kids. <laughs> Click up here to see yesterday's video. Click up there to see more vlogs. Click up there to subscribe and also click over there if you're feeling spicy. Also, check out our you, you Now, Musical.ly, and Instagram. You can always find us under Smelly Valley TV. As always, eat your